Good morning, guys. I just wanted to go over the logic and what we're trying to achieve with this new theory is that when we, whenever we get like the setup, is that we're looking to buy into support or sell into resistance. Okay, so uh, GJ was a good one where uh, it said it was a sell, and then we're looking for a buy. Now the thing is, we could um, do ourselves a little bit of mischief if we don't stipulate the exit. If we don't know where the stop loss is going to be or the take profit. You're probably going to encounter something like this where you could be up in nice profits and then it goes against you so uh, there's a very easy remedy for that if you come to the sheet and we've got a tab you might not be aware of it i'm not sure uh but it's called atr tp and sl levels and it will tell us the um the volatility for your instrument and that's worth noting I've just come back to gj is that this moves a hell of a lot whereas something like the euro pound hardly moves at all so obviously the uh, tp and sl is going to differ according to the instrument that it's triggering the trade at the, the signal okay and if we come to back to the sheet we can come down we can scroll down now we can see um <laughs> on the daily average range of the last 20 periods the gj rallies or dumps 216 pips in a day it's got a huge amount of volatility. So if we even like have a like a humble uh, take profit, a humble TP uh, of 50% of that range, it's 108 pips. Uh, so that's a good haul. Um, so if you wanted to have a one-to-one -one risk reward, your stop loss would be 108 and the TP would be 108 pips, okay? Um, so it's quite achievable uh, because it's 50% of the daily range and um, so come back to the GJ, and uh, that's actually round about um, just shy of 100 pips on that move. Okay, so just a quick one in case you didn't know about this tab. It's really useful because it tells you the volatility for the pair, and uh, it looks like it's going to trigger um, Aussie CAD. But look at the volatility difference between GJ and AC. <laughs> All right, it says huge. So our TP and SL is going to have to differ according to the pair, right? So that's really key. So um, because it's got a smaller volatility, you could theoretically increase your sizes, which is where this bit comes into play. But um, as long as you're careful, you should be fine. With something like GJ, you probably want to be using a really small size because of its volatility. With Aussie CAD, you could probably increase the size ever so slightly because you can see it's not as wild as GJ. So just a quick one there. And it's a really important aspect of trading is the exit component because we can see uh, coming to you know the chart is that we don't have like home runs because it does does the zigzags. So you want to you know definitely stipulate your TP and obviously you need to stipulate your stop loss and then you're gonna be out. At an okay profit and then you'll wake up and go oh great that was nice that was a good profit if you don't have the tp or sl you're likely going to have something like this where you know you've entered short and it's gone against you and it could theoretically get you out at your stop loss so it's important to know the tp and that's is this is where that comes into play on this tab it's called atr tp and sl levels you'll find it on the hamburger menu here and if you scroll down slightly, and it's just there. It's just above the correlation analysis and below the failure rate. So hopefully that helps. We've got Aussie CAD tomorrow. So just a quick one on that theory is that we need Aussie CAD to fall today in order to buy tomorrow. Okay, and tomorrow's buy signal, that is defined by the FX close, and that's at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time or 10 p.m. UK time and that's how we define tomorrow or today is after the cutover of the FX okay and uh, so that's this time tomorrow this should be doing okay but ideally we need the pullback in order for us to buy today uh, tomorrow <laughs> right, so this is GJ we wanted the pullback and not to buy we got it but you need to know the TP and that's where that um, tab comes into play here okay and also lastly do note that the fx pairs greatly vary in its volatility okay and that's it